now! Hello, this is Billy Cool from the Nostalgia Mall, and welcome back to Nostalgia Mall Christmas 2020. And in this video, we're going to do a little experiment with a program that my friend Retro Tech Chris um, informed us about on a Facebook group we're in. I forget the exact name of the program, but supposedly it will allow you to print to a network printer through Windows 3.1. And we did something similar to this on the Packard Bell Legend 822 CDT recently with my new OfficeJet printer. But that was running Windows 95, which is a little bit easier. Obviously, this is going to be a little bit trickier. I don't even know if this is going to work or not. But we will uh, proceed and see if we can uh, make some magic happen. And so, I believe I need to uh, redo my network drive configuration on here. So, hold on. Okay, got that taken care of, and by the way, this is the Gateway 2000 P590 we're using today. And so, let's see if this will actually work. Okay, it's called the Windows LPR Spooler version 4.2a. I'm going through this completely blind, I have no idea what I'm doing. Do you want the documentation files? Yes. Yes. So this will probably take about a minute or two. Yes, I'll add it to the startup. And so, going to have to restart. No surprise there. You have to set, okay, we're restarting, and it says you have to specify a valid spool directory, which I don't know what to do. Hold on. Okay, I've added the, uh, I did whatever it had me to do, just I completely guessed, so now it's taking me to the, uh, Windows print setup. And so I guess what we'll do is add a printer. So this must be like um, the last uh, time we did it on Windows 95. Is there a color laser jet on here? may have to provide that driver. Okay, I found a driver online, so uh, let's point it to my uh, directory I made on the server. So we will go to uh, here, I believe it's HP. And none of those is the uh, color laser jet, even though it said it was. Huh. Well, more Googling. Okay, just out of curiosity, I do not know if this is going to work or not, but I'm just going to go with the uh, HP DeskJet 500 and see if that will uh, do anything. I have my doubts. <laughs> okay, I am just going to uh, take a wild guess on what needs to be done. So I'm gonna. Apparently, I need to put my uh, um, IP address in for my printer, which I have uh, written on my phone. Just got to bring it up. Yes, I know I am so prepared for these videos. <laughs> And again, I'm just um, completely doing this blind, I guess you could say. <laughs> okay, there we go. You do not specify a remote printer name. Uh, 
we'll just name it uh, Office Jet for now. Do not specify a local spool file name. You will be able to send files to this printer via Okay, uh, <laughs> let's, I, I'm, I just guessed this whole thing, I, I seriously doubt this is going to work, there's no way this is going to work, but let's just try it anyway, so let's, uh, just make a random, uh, write document, there we go, and, I'm not able to print. Okay, I gotta set the default printer. There we go. Did that do it? Yes. nothing it would have printed by now so just as I suspected it did not work so let me do some troubleshooting okay I changed it from jet direct to uh, something else I forget what it's called so let's give this another try nothing nothing at all aha uh -huh, I see something here um, this is I'm in the Windows print setup and I'm changing the uh, port and I see what we just did a while ago in there so let's do that again this is not a how-to video <laughs> this is just me fooling around trying to see if we can get something to happen so let's see if we can get something to happen Okay, error. Requested service not supported by server or network exception occurred. Oh, that's lovely. An error occurred with sending the... Okay. That completely failed. Let's delete that. And so I need to maybe edit that. Edit queue data, and we'll switch to Jet Direct, and we'll try it again. Yes, enable. I hear the printer. it has to do printer maintenance why well, of all times when I'm anxious <laughs> I don't know yes Yes, it worked. But there's some things we still need to uh, take a look at. Like, I want to see if we can print some color. Okay, we know it can print black and white just fine. But how about color? Well, let's find out. Let's uh, go to our good old friend Windows Paintbrush. And, you know, it's Christmas. Let's attempt to draw a Christmas tree. That is a very deformed Christmas tree, but we will uh, just take it as it is. But hey, who wouldn't want this in their living room? And I'm going to give it another minute because the printer is doing maintenance again for some reason. And it's actually done now, so... 
let's see what it can do. Black and white. Why is that? Well, let's figure that out. Okay, I've replaced it with a DeskJet 500, and let's see if this actually um, will work. So, it says default printer, connect to um, there, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Okay, looks good there. Let's try our uh, little drawing again. Black and white again. This is going to take more troubleshooting than I uh, assumed it would. Okay, so I found another driver online. This is for a color laser jet. The driver cannot be updated because it's currently being used by Windows. Wait until... What? Seriously, can anything go right in this video? What? I don't understand the error messages I am receiving. I don't understand this message especially. Okay, a complete restart has um, fixed absolutely nothing. Um, I'm still getting this error no matter what driver I install from this pack. I don't know what it means and of course googling it brings up nothing because uh, this is Windows 3.1 and everything I get is uh, related to Windows 10. And so I am very irritated. And that's a different error message. And so I need to just uh, remove that because that's not going to get us anywhere. We'll try one more time. I really doubt it. It's going to work. Yep. Okay, I just installed the um, original software I found online for a HP DeskJet 720C. And we're going to uh, change this over to the uh, port monitor, whatever you want to call it, the uh, spooler. 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 Uh, Ferris Bueller reference uh, for you uh, youngins out there. Okay, now I'm going to try to find the, here it is, the uh, picture of the tree we drew earlier. And so let's make an attempt at printing this. I think it would have printed by now if it had worked. Let's see. Let's see if that did anything. Doesn't appear to, to have. Okay, so um, it appears the reason that 
none of the desk jet drivers work. I think it's because it's not PCL compatible, which is what this software needs to work. So it looks like I'm going to be stuck with uh, black and white only on this computer until I figure out a way to uh, get color to work on here. If any of you guys have an idea or solution as to what I could do, please let me know. But I'm actually surprised we got this far. Um, we were able to print something. So until tomorrow, this is Billy Core signing off. Thank you for visiting the Nostalgia Mall. If you liked what you saw, please like, subscribe, and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You may also support me on Patreon if you would like. The links to these are in the description below. Until next time, this is Billy Core wishing you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.